Hi, I'm Alex from Everything About Tech, and Ian's our cameraman today. And what I'm here to do is to show you how to dual screen your Windows Vista notebook. So first of all, you're going to, of course, need a Windows Vista notebook, any LCD TV, as long as it has these PC inputs right here, and most importantly, you're going to need a VGA cable. So first of all, what you'll do is you'll take your VGA cable and you'll plug it in to the port on your laptop notebook. It'll probably be on one of these sides. I haven't seen one in the back yet. First of all, you just plug this right in here. You don't need to screw them in. And next, you'll take the other side and plug it in to the back of the LCD screen. Not going to waste any time screwing it in. Next, it will go black, but that doesn't mean anything. Turn on the uh, LCD TV. And here we have it. We have a dual monitor notebook. Same computer, but just two different screens. And what's cool about the dual screen um, thing that I'm showing you is that you can take this iTunes and drag it onto the other screen and back and forth. Drag this over here, drag that over there, drag these things even over here, it's over there. Just keep them all over there for now. Um, also, right when you do this, it probably will not appear like this, because I've already changed the settings, so this is how, right when you turn it on, it looks. So how you will change the settings to fit what you want, is you will go down here, which on the right hand corner right here, onto your graphics media accelerator it's just pretty much a um like a um a video card kinda I don't really know the name for it but you'll right click it and it'll be graphic graphic options and you'll go to output 2 there'll be four selections right here I already have it on extended desktop here I'll show you what each one does this is monitor which it will just appear on this monitor right here is notebook as if you I don't really see the point of that because it's just only showing it on the notebook here is dual display clone and this right here means main monitor if you'll see the first one right here whichever one's the first one will be the main uh, screen which means it'll have the start um, Vista windows uh, bar on the bottom and it'll have all your shortcut icons so since I want this to be my main screen I will go to um, monitor plus notebooks that monitors first and then change it and as you can see it's just the exact same thing on two screens not really useful it's just why would I want this right here if I can just look at this right here can't, it's just the exact same thing. I haven't found a really use for it yet. This is what I like to use this for though. I'll put to extended desktop monitor plus notebook and notebook plus monitor. I'm a, I want my monitor to be the main screen to have the start bar and all the icons. So I will go to monitor plus notebook. And it will change this right here. And this is what you get. You get a blank screen with your desktop background right here. And you get what looks like your laptop um, main screen. Now I'll just open up a uh, Safari web browser and I'll open up let's uh, open up iTunes. Why don't I? Also, I'll show you how to get Safari on Windows because it's probably the best internet browsing internet browser I've ever tried. I love it. I like it a lot more than Windows um, Internet Explorer. And so I'll show you how to do that in a different video. But here, as you can see, I can take iTunes and take it onto this screen. And I can also bring it right in the middle. So I'll have half of it right here and half of it right here. You can also bring this over here. You bring it back over here. Put it wherever you want. You can bring even your shortcut icons to each screen. But if you do change these around, it will, when you do unplug your monitor, it will look a little bit different on your laptop. Can't move the start, the start bar yet, though, because you choose the monitor to be your main uh, your main screen. So I can see that's pretty much all you really have to do to turn it off. 
I didn't really know right when I started. So what I just doesn't doesn't do anything really. So what I just did is I turned off the LCD TV, unplugged it from the back, the screen will go black, and there we go. Laptop's perfectly fine, same as same as it was before. This has been Alex from Everything About Tech, and thanks for watching.